Today's protective devices can emit hundreds of different signals and measured values. Each signal can be indicated in a variety of locations. For example, a signal can be shown on the display panel of the relay, in the local control, or the system control center. The Annunciation Checker Test Module helps you to generate the signals and to check their correct appearance at the respective locations. A test specification consisting of a signal location grid can be created prior to the test and can even be adapted to the actual substation equipment during testing. We begin by inserting the Annunciation Checker test module into the existing OCC file. Now we check the local hardware configuration. We need three voltages and three currents to simulate the faults. The pickup and trip signals are also required in this example. Once we open up the module, you can see that the test view includes a matrix with signals and locations. Each test point consists of one signal and one location. With the Test Points tab, you can add signals and locations to the matrix. You can edit their names at your convenience. Since most relays include an LED display, it is possible to enter the LED number associated to a particular signal. For each location, you can enter the expected set value when applying the respective signal. For instance, we expect the LED of the relay to be on. If a particular location is not wired to a signal, simply uncheck the box to ignore it during the test. The detail view is used to define the outputs. In the left part of the detail view, you can define the test settings for each signal. In the right part of the detail view, you can define the individual settings for each test point. The drop-down menu includes a variety of signal types. If you choose Shot, the CMC test set will output the signal for a certain time, which you can define in the table below. The Steady State signal type generates the analog and binary output signals continuously until you switch them off. Choose No Output if you want to facilitate wiring checks that require no signal. For example, you can use it to check the initial LED readout. If some binary outputs are enabled in the hardware configuration, you can activate them here. These will be output during the test. When latching is selected, the binary outputs hold their state during the transition from one point to the other. If you are using the shot mode, you can define pre-fault conditions as well as the maximum fault time and the post-fault time. The pre-fault conditions are useful for those relays that need to stabilize before the fault inception. Now we will go ahead and start with the settings for the pickup signal. We will simulate a single phase fault in phase one. We choose shot as signal type and the impedance set mode with constant current. Then we place the test shot at 50% of the line impedance so that the relay picks up. The value of the line impedance is taken from the real block distance in the test object. Make sure that the maximum fault time is enough to elicit the signal from the device under test. Now we proceed to define the individual settings for each test point. You can enter an instruction that will be displayed during the test of the point. You can also use a pop-up message. Typically, this message includes the instructions for some task that must be carried out before the signal is output. The pop-up message requires confirmation to continue with the test. You can define a trigger condition when the shot mode is selected as signal type. When this condition is met, the injection of the test point stops. The input mode drop-down menu shows different options. 
With the trigger and the input value modes, you can perform automatic assessments. The Auto Assessment option can be selected in the Detail view, but it is also available in the Test Navigator during the test. When the Input Value mode is selected, you can enter the expected voltage at a specific location and the allowed tolerances. For example, you can use this mode to check the auxiliary DC voltage in the substation. The measured voltage must be entered in a valid number format during the test. For automatic assessments, the actual value is compared against the expected value and the allowed tolerances. The manual mode accepts any string as an input. Therefore, you can enter any text or number during the test. The trigger mode allows you to use the defined trigger signal for the assessment. This means that the test point will be assessed as passed when the trigger signal is received. For checking the LEDs at the first location, we choose the manual mode. This way, we can check the LED and assess the test manually afterwards. We enter an instruction to clarify which task must be done. For the second location, we choose the manual mode as well. This time we have to check the signal on a display. We use a pop-up message to give the instructions. The remaining test points are configured in a similar way. When the test is started, you are prompted with the test navigator. Click SHOT to test the first test point. Then you can enter the measured value and evaluate the test if it is not automatically assessed. Use the arrows in the upper left corner to go to the previous or the following test point. You can also activate Auto Move and choose whether you want to go to the next signal or location automatically after you assess a test point. Our first test point is the relay signal. Note that the instruction we entered before is displayed here. As soon as the LED lights up, we assess the test as passed. Since no trigger condition has been set, the input field becomes available after the maximum fault time. Once we move to the next location, we get the pop-up message with the defined instructions. We just confirm and assess the point manually. We will save you time and proceed with the other test points in the same manner. In contrast to the other test modules, the Annunciation Checker allows changes in the test module even after you have performed a test. You can still add or delete signals or locations. It is also possible to repeat and reassess a particular test without having to go through all the test points. The statistics of the test points are shown at the bottom of the test view. The Annunciation Checker is usually the first test module to be used in the OCC document in order to perform a wiring check and check the correct appearance of the signals in the substation.